fucking vigorously not. pumping on the internet. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Look at the state of that. <laughs> Just for context here, this is uh, the current seating situation. It is a drum of things. What's in there then? Oil and that? No, it's just a bolt. It's just old stuff. Old coolant, right? Because we have no seats from the last That is old time. coolant ready for environmental disposal. Oh, that's very nice of you. Well done. Environmental disposal. I think it's coolant. And um, you can sit on it as well because it makes a good seat. It is cool. Yeah, it? nice. Well, it makes a good seat for the race car. That's the main thing. Sports. It's not going to hold you in, but it'll do for the minute. I might put a lap belt on. <laughs> put a lap belt on the thing, can you imagine? Take a lap belt on the can. <laughs> <laughs> need a door catch as well. Yeah, we could do with putting otherwise that I, in because otherwise I'd fall you'll out. fall out. <laughs> yeah. In today's video to give a massive thank you to today's sponsor Diagostini. They are giving you guys the opportunity to build your very own 1-8 scale Mustang Eleanor from the classic film Gone in 60 Seconds. This monthly subscription service with full amazing details including cables, interior and even working lights, this is the ultimate Eleanor model. Tons of fun facts about the movie included in every issue with to scale model parts you build yourself, even down to cool details like the engine. I am very excited to carry on building my very own Eleanor. Remember, link is in the description. Let's get back to the video. Now, if you didn't catch up with the last video of the BMW, this was bought for just shy of a hundred pounds. And basically we want to budget turn it into some sort of drift missile. That's the whole idea here. And we've been waiting on parts. The parts have finally turned up. So we are ready to start bolting stuff to this car. First off today though, is what I really want to start with is just clearing all of this out because of course the bird's nest is still in there. The, um, the beer paraphernalia is in there as well. There's cobwebs, there's rat poo. We will of course get all of that out make sure it's actually relatively sanitary in here before I start working and actually pulling a ton of stuff out of this today. We will be working outside on this vehicle today, so sorry about the noise in this video, but let's get on it. We've got some stuff to do. Wash it down first though, that's the main thing. Right, let's get our fingers inside this, shall we? It's got some crisps in there, because you thought, well, the rats will come back at one point, won't they? But they didn't. Yeah, look at that, an actual bird's nest inside the car. Actual poo there. Actual poo right there. See that? Actual poo on my hands. Got a little nest here as well, just to this side. Right near the wiring. Hmm. Is that just in case this bit? <laughs> Why is that in there? <laughs> Why is that in the That's the brake, isn't it? So what's that then? Nah, that's ATF, that's past Irfood. Oh, past Irfood, that's just in case. Should we, put, should we leave it in there just in case? <laughs> I think we'll fix it. We'll, we'll fix it instead of leaving this semi skimmed. What's the date on it? Oh, 8th of March, but it's got no year. That's a shame. I thought we were going to expose some old school milk paraphernalia then, but I don't think we are. Well, it's nice to know it came with some. We have a Hoover. Yes. Hoover. Let's get stuck right in, mate.
they're nice. 50 degrees, says. Yep. Let her have it, mate. Angle. Did you just break that vigorously pumping? <laughs> Let's pull my knob off. <laughs> pull my knob off. <laughs> you don't have to pump it anymore now. <laughs> no, I have to try and fix it. Oh, vigorously, vigorously pumping. Vigorously the knob. pumping on the inside. George is starting only fans, so oh. it's only nine ninety seven a month. It's not even that. He'll pay you to watch it. How about that? Um, this is dry, and I'm gonna have to. Cool, let's get the, the thing out. We're running out of pressure. <laughs> running out of pressure. Pump harder then, come on. Pump harder. Pump I will say straight away, I don't know what I'm doing. George does, I don't. No, I don't. But you I don't do. Know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I just don't want to squirt some wires, but I mean, uh, just how bad can it be? That's, that's where the ECU is. Don't to touch that bit. <laughs> just clean it all. Just let her have it. It okay. needs to be clean. The original air box is off, as you can see just there. Loads of dirt under here. Just get out of the way of the sun. Tons of dirt in there. Just notice this though, and I'll just point it out on camera. This is what, a HID? Something like that. Look how they've put it in there though. Actually, what a wood screw, whatever that is. Straight into the back of the headlight housing. <laughs> that's so funny. I suppose that's one way to do it. Not sure if we're gonna keep that. I'd uh, rather run just standard ones, but that's quality. <laughs> unplugging Lambda sensors there ready to take the manifold off for the turbo manifold and trying to access as much as I can cabin filter look how absolutely revolting that is in there <laughs> I think we'll take that out <laughs> in there mate right moment of truth after probably half a day of trying to take these out <gasps> yes! she's let go she's let go <laughs> right that's good that's really good look at that manifolds are off let's go that was well hard. No joke, if you've ever done E46 headers, pipes, exhaust, whatever it is, basically there's a lot of crap in the way. I'm well happy. Like, well happy with that. Yay! Troll. <laughs>
Anyone want an exhaust done? Not I can do me. it for you. Alright, oh, okay. Yeah. I have a head torch on now. Ah. I am a winner. So, turbo manifold is going in. Had to get George to come in and just sort that last cat out because, oh my god, they were just <laughs> putting up the biggest fight going. Rips all come out. It was all good. So, now is the part of the video where it might all go completely wrong and the manifold that we've got might not even fit into where we've been clearing this whole video this whole day. Let's hope it actually fits, shall we? Because if not, it's going through the wall. What are you saying? I did actually break this bit, so there's I'm that. Saying it does bolt up. That's good. It's quite close to it here. You can cut that out. We are going to put a spacer in there. Yeah. That does actually fit. Yes. Thank God for that. Obviously, this is just mock-up purposes, but... Yeah, so when the, when the spacer's it? in, it's going to be sat. We've got some longer M8s to go in here. Yeah. Um, so, so it will actually position the manifold out. Well, the manifold's going to be... Slightly spaced, spaced. Right. so it's going to sit about here anyway. That's all right, which makes the wastegate tight. But we'll go get the turbo and have a look. <laughs> yes, if it actually fits in there, shall we? <laughs> she is a big one. What? <laughs> oh my, that is ridiculous. Look at the state of that. Let me hold it here for you. <laughs> what is that, mate? Shout out Max Peter Rods. That's ridiculous. Just about. About there. There. We'll have to re-clock it, but. That's all right, though. We can always do that. Yeah. There is enough space for her in there, though. She's big, but she fits. That is so sick. in the bay again this is purely mock-up just to see what room we have where we can do it. exhaust various bits like that but i'm really happy with the progress we've got through today again massive thank you to max speed and rods if you do want to buy anything use my code link is in the description to get a slight discount as a thank you to you guys for supporting and of course max speed and rods for supporting with that guys i'm going to also say thank you to george that's just in the back of here over there washing his hands thanks george Thanks for like coming and ruining your day basically by my stupidity because that's what happens here, isn't it? And thank you so much for watching guys. We'll see you on the next one.